coming out of this fantastic facility. And I just got to pause a minute and uh, thank the crew up there because, uh, especially Tom, um, Tom Barna is kind of our chief engineer, you know, he's kind of like the the director of the plant, um, you know, master of all that he surveys, and uh, he's, he keeps things together, ladies and gentlemen, even with... Even the fact that we are at the command of one of the most powerful shortwave radio stations in the world, thanks to World's Last Chance Ministries, um, it really boils down to a handful of people and the family of people that we have. And pretty much the people that work at, cl at what we call classic, like when we refer to classic, uh, we mean, you know, good old WBCQ, the, the, the one that's been there for 20 years, et cetera, et cetera, uh, with all the comparatively low power transmitters operating. And then, of course, we have, you know, the superstation, which is technically transmitter number six of the WBCQ madness and empire. But remember, transmitter number six was paid for and financed by the, by the beautiful people at uh, World's Last Chance Ministry. And I just want to say that these people are wonderful, and they are devoted to our Father in Heaven and doing His work and, 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 and promoting His Word. And this week of testing, which will finish up next Wednesday, um, you're going to hear a good sampling, mainly in English, of World's Last Chance Programming. And then after that, um, I think beginning um, a week from, um, uh, I think the next, uh, beginning Thanksgiving Day. Yeah, I think I think Thanksgiving Day, uh, to which we owe many thanks to our Father, Lord, and Savior in heaven. Uh, on Thanksgiving Day, we will um, be um, commencing with regular scheduled programming. And we, I will put the program schedule up at the WBCQ website. It also will be on the World's Last Chance WLC website. So you'll be able to see the full schedule, which is a, which is a busy schedule. In fact, it's, it, I've got a copy of it right here. Um, in fact, I've got a final copy, which I don't remember what I did with, but, um, and this, this is, and it's like everywhere. I mean, um, see, that's the beauty of transmitter and antenna number six at WBCQ. It is a fully rotatable mammoth antenna. You know, go on the website, folks, WBCQ.com. You know, look up the pictures. You'll see. It's a mammoth antenna that's 360 degree rotatable. It can spin on the, you know, anywhere on the map. And we're making good use of that because we're having all different kinds of beam headings and we're going to be targeting, um, you know, everything. The United States, uh, Spain, Portugal, South America, Central America, Canada, the United Kingdom, Germany, Morocco, the Arabic speaking world, uh, Brazil, and on and on. And um, this is the goal of World's Last Chance Ministry to do this and to promote the word of our Father throughout the world. And it's very uplifting and it's very good. And I hope and pray by his hand it will um, enrich the lives of all those that hear it. Because uh, if you've been following the tweets that we do, you follow the tweets that we do. Alan uh, WBCQ is the Twitter handle. You can follow the tweets that I write every day. And um, uh, Angela and I, you know, Angela is very inspirational to me. Um, she's kind of like my conscience and keeps me, <sighs> ladies and gentlemen, this lady keeps me sane and, and pretty much keeps WBCQ sane because um, it's crazy. It, it's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, you see what's going on in the world, sweetheart. 
um, you see the um, the instability. I hate to even I hate to get political again, but um, even in this great republic, you see the instability going on in our country. Why don't you comment on that? I mean, um, what's going on? Do you, I mean, you you were mentioning where it. do you start though? I mean, again, just the listeners spread it out there that. Man, if, uh, where do you start? It's With very, what's going on is, I, I think there's a lot, a lot of people that need to be impeached, but let me tell you, the president isn't one of them. Well, it's beyond that. It's Some of it's kind of actually, like, I believe in my heart, it's along the lines of treason. Well, it's, it's even beyond that. To hate, to hate a person so bad that you're willing to, to throw forfeit everything your country, out. isn't that treason? Well... Maybe it's treason of the heart. I don't know. But um, it is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. But he'll and, stay risen above it, though. And for those of you that are listening worldwide, for those of you throughout the world that listen to WBCQ and listen to our broadcasts, um, I, I apologize. I do. Um, as an American citizen and as a permanent resident, which to my, my loved wife it is, um, I apologize, we apologize for what is going on in our country regarding our leadership in Washington, D.C. Uh, it's embarrassing. It's um, wrong. It's a waste of our taxpayer money, these, um, you know, um, um, witch hunts that really that's all they are. Uh, and it's accomplishing nothing, and it's wasting a lot of time, and it's making us really look like, you know, a bunch of chumps and, and stupid. Um, we, we, have, we have good governance. We have a good president. We have, we have, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt and be very Christian here and say that in the hearts of most in Congress, I believe there is good and there is a